up? My name's Danny, aka Thriftfish. I'm an online fashion reseller, so I sell secondhand clothing on Poshmark, eBay, and a handful of other platforms full time. And it's Friday, so welcome to this Friday's Sip and Ship video where I'm gonna sip on some coffee through my unnecessarily large boba straws that I love. Never had boba, but the straws are great. And we're gonna ship my most recent sales from Wednesday to today. This week, it's just Poshmark sales. eBay has been quiet, but I also slacked on cross-listing this week. But uh, I did get back on my game yesterday, so hopefully the weekend perks up a little bit more on eBay. But that's okay, I had plenty of Poshmark sales. Luckily, sales have been really consistent, and I have been somewhat consistent as well, so I'm just thankful for the pickup in sales. It really feels like it did a little bit back before the pandemic hit last year. Um, I don't know if it's just this is a really great time of year for resale or what, so we're gonna go ahead and pack those up and we're gonna just chat a little bit about reselling. Ooh, it's a particularly nice day here in Maryland. Uh, however, so I have the door open uh, out to the outside, but it just got really windy. So I might have to close the door because it'll probably get noisy. It's always noisy. Okay. <laughs> But before I continue to ramble on, let's go ahead and start packing up the first sale and we'll go from there. Okay, I guess what I want to pack up first is a bundle sale. I love a good bundle sale. They're kind of fantastic when they happen, especially when somebody just decides to bundle a couple things and then accept your offer on those couple of things like or they send you a completely reasonable offer on those things that's just such a good feeling so this is a two-piece bundle it is a packed organic cotton size medium little cable knit sweater in a teal color and this person must enjoy teal as a color because they also purchased this pair of under Armour leggings that are also teal. Very cute. Uh, I think I might've gotten these from ThreadUp and I like the style. I don't usually pick up Under Armour, but I will sell it because Athleisure is great. There you go. And these are in really good condition. So I got a two piece bundle for, I'll try to give you the price, 45. And actually uh, this was a bundle where they purchased something and then asked if they could bundle the leggings with the sweater uh, so to not have to pay shipping twice so we did I canceled the order we bundled she repurchased so worked out great uh, all right I'm gonna go ahead and pack that up hmm so I got a medium-sized Tolkien bag oh it currently has my thrifted items from yesterday but I want to use it so here it is. I can actually pick it up and show it to you because it's not ginormous like the extra large. So I'm gonna try to get away with using this today instead of the XL. Um, if it starts overflowing, I'll go get the, the big one, but we'll try to use this one. This one's ready. It fits perfectly in the bottom of the bag. Like it was shaped for that, who knows. Uh, the next sale that I'm going to pack is one of the first, maybe first things to sell for my thread up 100 pound mixed lot. Uh, if you haven't seen the first part of that haul video, go check that out. The next part is coming out next week, but the first half is out and this I believe was in the first part, but this is the vintage Wilson's leather, like little black dress. It's got leather paneling, really like sexy vibes, but vintage Wilson's leather dress, the cool tag. This sold for 35, I believe, on Poshmark. Yeah, 35. So that's a good start. 
did not go on my usual early week thrift trip this week just because I had received the thread up lot over the weekend and I had a lot to process and organize and start listing. So by Thursday, I was ready to go out. So yesterday again, and so I picked up a nice amount to help me get through the weekend and beginning of next week. I also received a Joe Mar pack that I ordered at the beginning of February. Uh, that arrived yesterday as well. So when I got back from the thrift, I also had to sit and process that a little bit, or at least organize it. I did film a video, so that will be out eventually as well. But yeah, so I have lots to go through. So I don't know if I'll end up going thrifting early next week either. I have to wait till next late week, but we'll see. We'll see if what calls to me. Uh, <laughs> I would say the only thing I really am not enjoying about the thread up process, and I kind of knew this was gonna happen, is just figuring out how to get the stuff either back to thread up or to somewhere to donate it or how to get it out. Um, because so some things I'm not keeping to list or lot or take to Play-Dohs. I had originally wanted to send them back to ThreadUp, but right now I'm not getting labels and I have no idea when they're gonna start letting me get labels. So, and I don't necessarily want this huge pile of things in my office because I do have plans to rearrange things and add more storage. So I put myself in that jam, but it's still a jam. So this is the Wilson's leather dress. Next up is a Lululemon tank. This was also in the first box, so actually another early sale. This is the Lululemon Swiftly tank that was in the first thread up box in that haul. This sold as well for 20, I think. Uh, so I was happy with that fast little flip. It's just a lightweight Lululemon tank and 20 is great for me. Uh, and I'll actually go into some of the reasons why I'm not keeping some of the things from the Fred Up haul. Um, despite some of them maybe having value, I mean, some of them plain just have damage and especially a couple items that I said I was going to end up keeping. Of course, as I started processing and photographing, I noticed more flaws, some of them okay, some of them just not worth my time. Um, that is probably the biggest consideration is, is, a, is this item's return going to be worth my time to clean it up, photograph it, research it, list it, pay my lister to draft it? Uh, so those are the considerations I'm making when looking at an item from a bulk box as to whether or not I'm listing it. And I just enjoy keeping my closet curated and really only listing things I love because that's what keeps me motivated. So for those other things, I just have to find either other ways to keep them from the landfill um, or make some kind of money back on them. Uh, moving on, we're gonna pack up these really cute Dolan pants. Not sure if this is an anthropology Dolan piece, but it's just this pair of like gold or like just metallic. I don't even know. This is like a mix between gold and silver. Plisse, so small pleats. Here's the Dolan tag, size large. Just a cute pair of wide leg pants. Uh, these also sold for 20 on Poshmark. They've been sitting for a little bit but glad that they sold. This is a nice season for these. Flowy, lightweight, wide leg pants. This is a Lululemon pullover. It was part of my reseller tries stain treatment video. 
the stain mostly came out and what didn't come out, I disclosed in the listing. Um, but this is really cute, like turtle cowl neck pullover with a pouch pocket. It's a little wrinkly. Yeah, so the pocket in the front and the neck. And there's a little bit of discoloration on the front. You probably can't tell in this light, uh, but you could in my full ring light view. Yeah, but this sold for, oh, let me show you. There's the Lululemon. This sold for, it sold for 24. So definitely a little bit of a discount on a normal Lululemon item, but with that discoloration, I felt that that was fair. All right, this one is ready. This is a James Purse little sweatshirt. What did this sell for? Also 20? No, 25, not bad. Super soft. I love the little like peach color, but yeah, it's just a little standard James Purse pullover. It's probably a small one. Is it an extra small or small maybe? Soft, lightweight, again, very seasonal. Yeah, it is super nice here today too. So I'm enjoying that. I'm gonna go for a walk later. Also, I think yesterday was the first day I can remember where I didn't stand in a line to get into the thrift store. I don't know if it was just because it was really cloudy and like gloomy out, but I don't know. Strangely uh, quiet at the thrifts yesterday. I didn't wait in any lines to get in and I didn't wait in any lines to check out. So but I don't mind, that was a good day. Uh, I was trying to figure out why I got home so much earlier than weeks previous and I think that was part of it. I didn't have to wait in any lines. Uh, okay, that one's done. What's next? This one just sold another $20 sale. Is this Anthropology Akemi and Kin Top? This might have been in a recent haul I did. Not sure if it was here on Instagram, but it's uh, got like bubble sleeves and also kind of like a halter uh, straps as well. So kind of a cold shoulder vibe, but it's really pretty. Again, a great spring summer piece. So you can be looking for a couple more unboxing videos. Soon it will be Q2, April. So I will definitely be doing some reflection videos from the month of March, as well as the entire Q1. So that's coming up. Um, I would love to get out there and do another thrift with me video. So you can definitely expect to see a lot of fun things coming from my channel in the near future. And of course I'll continue to be doing these sip and chip videos if you guys are still enjoying them. I certainly enjoy doing them every week. So if you guys like them, I'll continue to do them. And you all are killing it and being some of the most awesome watchers I could have. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is like, thank you, you guys are are seriously pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Akemi and Kim. Done. Next up, this is a an American Eagle soft and sexy t-shirt that I got from the bins. Is it soft and sexy? Yeah, it is. Just a little eyelet flare sleeve v-neck t-shirt from American Eagle. I got this from the bins, so I wasn't expecting to make a ton, but I know that American Eagle basics are great, and especially at the bins, they're a great bread and butter pickup. So I think I had it listed for 23, somebody offered me 13, so I went ahead and accepted it. Um, yeah, that's it. Definitely hoping to get back to the bins soon to see if I can plan a trip. It's a little bit of a drive, but my goodness, is it worth it? Okay, um, hopefully when it gets, when it's, it's nice and it stays nice with the weather, 
it'll be a good time to go. Uh, maybe a little bit busier, but yeah, give and take. Okay, American Eagle, that was clip one. Next up is a J. Crew sweater, super cute. It has comms on the front and is like a cable knit. Is it a cable knit? Yeah. A little bit of a mock neck, super nice. And lamb's wool. This one sold for 25, I believe. They offered me 20, I counted with 25, and we went with that. Coming out of sweater season, so sounds good to me. All right, we're getting down to just a few items here. Yeah, just a couple things left, a couple of sweaters, a pair of shoes, and maybe one other smaller item. Was it four left? Yeah, looks like it. I want to show you one of my favorite finds, I think, from my thrifting trip yesterday. Hold on. These lovely, gorgeous Chloe sandals, wedge woodblock sandals. There we go. It's not a size six. It says that, but that's not accurate. They're a size 41, but they are beautiful. They're in excellent shape, both of them, and they were $6.99, $7, so... Um, hopefully these will be a good flip. They are made in Italy. Yeah, really nice. So one of my favorite finds. Another Ben's find, just a fun, colorful Disney find. This like super fleece, colorful Mickey pullover with the Disney World tag. Super cozy, soft. Um, fun Disney novelty. There's a couple of discoloration spots, but they were all disclosed in the listing. Overall, it's in good condition still and super soft and cozy and fun. So let's go into Missouri. What's next? Eh, the medium Hulkin is just barely going to work. I think I have to reorganize it, but need a coffee break. Next up is a Madewell cardigan. I can't remember where I sourced this, but here it is. A little bit of an older Madewell tag. Size small, but just a really fuzzy, um, sort of color blocked longer cardigan. This sold, oh yeah, and it has like, <laughs> I thought it had holes, but there's like a double button thing going on. Um, and it sold for 30. All right, let's do the last two. One is, oh, this is the third Red Up sale, actually. I think this has not been shown yet. I think this might be from the second haul or the second unboxing, so sneak peek. Um, if you've already seen these, then ignore me. But this is a pair of Intimately Free People little uh, like super lightweight flowy little sleep shorts with the lace, cute, size small, a little, little see-through, little sexy moment. <laughs> they sold for 28, not bad. I think they sold out right, they might've been full price. Um, if so, awesome. So already, so far, with selling three items, I've made $83. So considering that I spent around 250 on all 100 pounds, we're on a pretty good track of making a decent profit off of the box. Um, again, like I said, it's just kind of getting the extra stuff out. But yeah, I was definitely confident that I was going to profit on the box, but it is nice to see that evidence come in fairly quickly. Um, hopefully things continue like that. I'm still listing things slowly, um, kind of mixing them in with the things that I've been thrifting as well and the things I got from Joe Mar. So hopefully we'll see me hit the break even point very soon. And then from there, it's all profit. Shorts are wrapped up. I would say I've listed about 30 pieces so far from from the thread up 
Uh, and also three mixed lots are listed on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, so that's my progress so far also. Okay, last sale is this pair of super cute, like metallic sheen leather, um, and also like patent leather cap toe AGL flats. These are, um, I really like the style. Sometimes AGL styles are a little old, outdated, not great, um, but these are really nice. Nice leather bottoms, with just a little bit of wear. So we're gonna go ahead and send these out today as well. Those sold for $30. Okay, this did not feel like it took very long. So again, just Poshmark sales on this one. Uh, hopefully we can get eBay kickstarted throughout the weekend, but I am not mad about these Poshmark sales. Enjoy your weekend or your week whenever you're watching this. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you again real soon.